<clears throat> we, we've got a scene for Al to do. The scene is um, he's a surgeon and he has to come out and tell the family that he's lost the patient. We'll start with the 70s Al Pacino talking to the family. Mr. and Mrs. Forbush, I'm Dr. Danazio, and I have some very, very sad news that I have to... Billy didn't make it. We got the liver, but it got here late. So I called the guy to get another liver. But that liver was late. And the guy was a drinker. The guy. Ripple. <laughs> Every day, he was drinking a bottle of Ripple. And I told him, don't drink the Ripple, because you might have to give your liver away. So that's why he didn't make it. And I'm very sorry. I'm going on my break. But please feel free to have a clock bar. <laughs> <laughs> Josh. Thank you. All right. It's been a long, I haven't done that since the last time I was here. Are you serious? I retired. I retired. Ooh, buddy, that was crazy good. And oh. the key to brilliance is being able to improvise within the voice. That's what makes me the happiest. You know, I ended up doing a short-lived uh, Walkin podcast called Talkin' Walkin'. Talkin' Walkin'. Where it's just me and someone having a conversation about minutia. And I realized in that was Nirvana. If yeah. you can just do them conversationally about nothing. Much better than any form of meditation. Well, you often say that you think quicker as Albert Brooks. Yes, it's true. I think yeah. quicker and funnier. Yeah. Is it me? Am I crazy? I'm going to go lie down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you remember... Oliver Peoples, that time yes. when you and I lost our minds and you were Shatner and I was walking in the Oliver Peoples. <laughs> they, they didn't this know is what, a true story. They didn't know what to make of that. We just start, it, it was Tourette's. <laughs> yes. He had Shatner Tourette's, I had walking Tourette's <laughs> and we just started riffing and the people in the store were happy because they were watching Kevin Pollack perform. <laughs> Nobody knew who the fuck I was and it was, I think they all thought they had gotten dosed at the door with the breath mints because they all just sort of stood there. And then when we kind of stopped and ran out of things to say and, and, and moved to another part of the store, they were still staring at the spot where Kevin and I... <laughs> yeah, what was that? <laughs> so I have a... I have a, a notion, an observation that at some point Al became an old black blues player. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Too much yelling in the 90s. Also, what is this with that? Why does everything have to be there? But that's the beauty of it. Yeah. And that's, a, that's an important part of it. He's working it. That's an important He's part doing of it. space work in every scene. <laughs> did you ever see him do Teach an American Buffalo when, when he did it? No. He Talk did, about that. He did a thing where, first of all, it was... It was a blow-away show, and uh, it was with J.J. Um, Johnson, played Donnie, Pacino was Teach, and um, Jesus. James Hayden, who, God rest his soul, who passed away uh, not long after that, played Bobby. And seeing Al on stage is wild because, you know, he has a, an instrument that he was putting it out there. Yeah. And his opening salvo uh, uh, on the stage, he says, fucking Ruthie, I think it's 10 times. He goes, fucking Ruthie, fucking Ruthie, fucking Ruthie, fucking Ruthie, fucking Ruthie. And this arc of spit is coming out of his mouth with each. And you see all these people in the front that are trying to, it's not Blue Man Group. They didn't get the ponchos, right? They're trying, <laughs> they want to get spit on by Al. But it was, it, it was mind-blowing, but I, that's when I first really, really clocked his thing of oh, touching yeah. and the stuff with his hair. Because he also did this thing with his hair throughout the entire play. Right. From the mouth of a southern bull dyke, ingrate asshole of a vicious nowhere. Can, can this trash come and I take nothing back? I know you're close with him. <laughs> and, he, and he did this thing with his belly and his hair. And, and that's, that was when I went, oh, yeah, it's not just the voice. 
because he does. Al, he's always he's claiming space. <laughs> right, he's claiming space, and it's beautiful. Oh my God! Because he doesn't do anything without a reason. Oh no! I have to look up the other question on the phone. This is I'm, a Josh Charles question. Because I'm that asshole. No, we got another one. Well, this will take a good ten minutes. So, um, <laughs> put your. Sam, Sam, Kevin, put Sam. your glasses on <laughs> after you fold your trousers over the chair. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. You son of a bitch. Just still stalling. Still going? Yeah, yep. still stalling. Love. Stalled. Did we, uh, uh, if go. I may, uh, I, I cannot remember how long ago it was we first had the pleasure of sitting down with you. That's five, six years ago, because it was the last season of Lost. It's 09 or 10. Okay. Oh, it was uh, right before the final episode aired, I believe. Yeah, I think it was, yeah, exactly. right? Yeah. And so my question to you is about Lost, and it's about how has that, because the fandom for that show it's still never, to this day. It never goes away. It's never going away.